Thank you, Mayor Bloomberg. Um, that, by the way, Kirk gave me that one. I didn't come up with that. Uh, uh, well, I wanted to say, uh, first of all, thank you for having me. I appreciate being here. You know, I'm sitting back here listening to these uh, folks talk about uh, how service is going to be activated on television. And I was brought here to talk about how it's going to be activated on the web. And I was thinking last night, I was trying to figure out, like, how am I going to stand out here and encourage people to serve? You know, volunteering is, when we really break it down, is working for free. It's like, I, I, I mean, I'm thinking that's not like, I gotta go out and tell people, yeah, get excited to go work and not make any money. And get, especially when it's tough to come by money. And I'm, th and I'm like, how am I gonna really encourage people to do that? And how am I gonna encourage people on the web to tell other people to do that? And uh, I started thinking about it, and last week I was in Philadelphia. I was there for a funeral. And we were driving back into the city, and I saw a man in a park as we're driving by on the ground having a seizure. And he was convulsing on the ground. And I'm in the car, and I'm with my wife and, and my stepkids, and we're driving back from this funeral. And we, and we, we kind of don't know what to do. The man's convulsing on the ground, he's having a seizure. It's, we're playing an epileptic seizure. We, we weren't sure, we didn't know. I'm not a doctor. I can't jump in. I can't save this man's life. I don't know, I don't know how to do that. There's some people around him trying to help him. Some lady's on her cell phone, probably calling 911, calling some emergency services. And, and I'm driving by and I'm like, what do I, do I stop? What do I do? How do, what do, how do I help? So we drive a couple of blocks, I see a police officer on the side of the road. We tell the police officer, listen, there's a guy back there having a seizure, he needs help. And as I had that, as I faced that decision, I said, I had to ask myself, do I want to participate? Do I want to be involved, or do I just want to stand by and watch this happen? Our cities, our communities, our states, our country, we're, we're, we're having a seizure. We're convulsing. Our economies are struggling. We are convulsing. And we can you can be the citizen that stands by and watches that happen, or you have a choice to be the citizen that participates. And if you're not a doctor, if you can't necessarily do this one particular service or that particular service, you can tell other people to serve. And that's what the social web is. It's an opportunity to rally each other virally, to bring people together behind a cause, behind an effort. And you don't have to be the expert to ask somebody else to participate. I went on iParticipate.org. I was checking it out. It's amazing. You can put in anything that you're good at, and it will give you a service project in your neighborhood. And I was like, I, I wanted to test this, right? I like football. I'm a big football fan. I, I helped coach a high school football team in Los Angeles. So I put in football. Bam. Service opportunities to go coach flag football. Community service mentorship. I put in video games. I like to play video games. Boom. Service opportunities to play video games. Anything you're good at. You don't have to be the doctor. Because the patient... The patient needs your help, and the patient's your city, it's your community, it's your state. It's this city, New York, and I'm, I'm proud to be here, I'm honored to be here, and I just want to start the ball rolling, because we can actually do this with the web. We can we can commit our service, our participation, and we can quickly encourage other people Sorry. to participate. So I'm going to send out a tweet on Twitter. There's, you know, three million some people may, might get it. I'm going to post it on my Facebook page. I'm going to tell my friends to go out and participate. I want people to activate their citizenship. Because it's not enough to stand by and just watch it happen. It's not enough to maybe vote and then watch the politicians take care of stuff. We are the country. We are the city. We are the community. It's our problem. And we got to do something about it. So I'm going to send out a tweet really quick right now. Yes, and if you want to retweet it, Woo! if you want to retweet it, you can retweet it. If you want to uh, go out and go to iParticipate.org and find a service project in your area, you can do that. But just don't stand by.
don't stand by. Activate your citizenship. All right. The tweet has been sent. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mayor Bloomberg. Ashton, thank you for not...